What better way to map these highways than by asking an old bull elephant, who might remember Angola, to lead the way? Mike needs to collar a bull as close to the international border as possible. An elephant old enough to remember his ancestral homeland, and who will provide a GPS trail as he journeys north into Angola. Look at that. That's so impressive. I've never seen so many large bulls in one bachelor group. We have to collar one in this group. The biggest bull if you can find him. Hey Larry, that big bull, the one with the big cuss. This huge bull is exactly what Mike is looking for. He's certain this old elephant would have lived in Angola and will probably go back there. He's really impressive. Man. Super. How's his breathing, Larry? It's good. I really hope this magnificent bull would become an ambassador and lead the way back to Angola. Ah, Baba, I think he's about. 40 years old, probably. Yeah, he's in his prime. Mike has collared more than 50 elephants in a massive transfrontier area spanning five countries. He's unlocking the secrets of how these majestic animals move across this complex landscape. Baba, arrivi Let's call him Ntombo. The collaring of Ntombo is a new beginning. Mike's future challenge is to ensure that elephants have the freedom of Africa, that they can still wander as they did hundreds of years ago, and most importantly, that elephants and people can learn to live peacefully together. I believe that elephants are a flagship species. And if we can't save the African elephant, what hope is there for the rest of Africa's wildlife? The great bull and Tombo strode north into the wilderness of Angola, carrying his collar with him, following an ancient migration path. And now I dream that where he leads, a thousand elephants will follow. <laughs>